Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video. In today's video I just want to give you a little tip in order to randomize or actually give you the power to change the random encounters music inside your games because at some point you just become very 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 redundant to always hear the same song especially if there's a lot of random encounters inside your games in which case you might want to decide to change it uh, depending on the maps or just put in a random playlist whatever it is and i'll show you how you can implement this easily inside your games so let's get started all right so i created a little map little island super 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 simple uh i changes the uh, parameters so that I will encounter a group of goblin uh, every one step. Naturally, I'm gonna change it to one goblin for the purpose of this video. And I'm just going to show you how you can implement, once again, through common events, the uh, marvelous random playlist that you're gonna uh, be able to have inside your game or at least uh, change the music uh, based on some conditions that you want. So, the first thing that I like to do is first I need a switch that says uh, is is this a boss fight? All right? Is uh, fighting a boss? Is the player fighting a boss? Because boss music is so much more like is she'll never be a music that you have inside a random encounter. She'll be like a little bit something more. And so what I do is I always have a couple of music for bosses and a playlist for random encounters in my game. And because of that, I need a switch that tells me if the character is playing, a, is fighting a boss. If you're fighting against a boss, then you will turn on this uh, the switch, and whatever happens of the combat outcome, whether the player loses, game over, or kills the boss, then you're gonna act afterward, uh, turn the switch off. All right. Now, inside a conditional branch, what we're gonna do is, if he's not fighting a boss, so if the, his fighting boss is off then we're going to do our logic here. In this case, what we're gonna have to do is use our variable random value that we've created inside our uh, randomizing chess part two video tutorial that released, I think was last week or the one prior to that. Anyway, a random variable that stores a random value, in which case you're gonna implement the value between a zero and the amount of song that you have inside your playlist minus one. So in my case, let's say I have five songs, then that will be between zero and four. All right. Now the logic is pretty self-explanatory from there. So we're gonna check for each one of those possibilities. So if random value is zero, one, two, three, four. So let me fast forward this real quick. And from there, what we're going to do is uh, from the comments inside your events, you can change the battle BGM. Is that the one? Yeah, change the battle BGM to, uh, well, battle one. If that's the one you want to go for, then you could have the second one is battle two, battle three, and so on and so on. All right. And so basically, if the character is not fighting a boss, then this is what we do. If it is fighting a boss else, then depending it's entirely up to you now uh, at how you want to come with your hit if you want to use a random va values once again for boss battle then you could implement the hell's branch here and code the pretty much the exact same thing except you change the uh, actual battle songs for your bosses or you do absolutely nothing and before running the boss what you do is that you uh, change the battle bgm to the combat uh, specific that you're looking for in this case, um, that will be uh, my way to do things. That means that I never actually use random songs for my bosses. But you can do it if that's something that you want to do. So, my battle music manager. Good. And now, finally, the only last thing we have to do is from the game manager itself, we're going to call the, once again, battle music manager. There we go. And so... While the game is running, if the player is not fighting a boss, then we're going to change constantly the uh, BGM. And let's put a weight of like 60 frames. So every second that the battle, the music is going to change. And so you never actually really know which battle music you're going to encounter uh, on your next fight. 
So I'm starting the game here. Everything seems smoothly. All we have to do now is test this. So let's go ahead. So that was one music. Now let's go with another one. And once again. All right, so that's really the core ID behind it all. You don't necessarily have to use a random value in order to change the battle BGM. You could have, for instance, the type of maps, or like if your players are at sea, this is the battle we want. If they're uh, in the desert, this is another one, whatever it is. But that is the core idea on how you can manipulate and control your battle BGMs uh, in order to change throughout the game so that it doesn't become redundant for yourself and your players. All right, so that's already it for today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe for more content. If you have any questions or comments, please make sure to leave them below inside the comment section. And as always, I'll see you later for a new video. Bye. Goodbye.